Hey friends, it's Liz, the official craft nerd, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be working on a project that I have been wanting to do for a very long time. Basically, I am going to call this a shabby chic wall decor collage piece because we are literally just going to be putting all kinds of goodies together to hang up on the wall. Now, I am starting off with this piece that I picked up at Walmart. Uh, as you can tell, I just took all of the knobs off uh, easily, just unscrewed those, and then we are going to use a little of this antique wax and stain this piece. I wanted this wood to be a little bit darker uh, than the light wood that it was. And again, this is super easy to do. Just use a little of this antique wax, give it a coat, wipe it down, and it gives it a really nice stain. And while we are doing that, I just want to take this time to say thank you for joining me today. If you are new here, welcome. I hope you stick around, hit that subscribe button down below, leave a like, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. To all of my crafty, nerdy family, thank you guys so much for joining me again. And I just really want you all to know how much I appreciate you guys. I really, truly do. And I am super excited to continue making content for you guys. So I am taking this wood piece from Dollar Tree. These are one of their newer blank signs that they've been putting out lately. And I thought this was perfect for what I was wanting to do this project with. So all I'm doing here is just taking some scotch tape and I'm kind of going around the inside. I didn't have any of my painter's tape left. So scotch tape was going to have to do. And I'm just doing it so we don't get any of the stain on the white portion of this. That's kind of why I picked up this white blank because that way I wouldn't have to paint it white in the middle. Uh, so we are going to just do that with this scotch tape, just going around all the inside. And then I'm going to take some more of that antique wax and we are going to paint the outer rim or the frame of this wood piece. And again, it's the same process. We're just going to put a coat down and we'll wipe it off. Uh, and it just gives it a very nice color that I am looking for for this particular project. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and put my knobs back in to my little piece here. And again, super easy, just screws right back on to the screw. Now, honestly, you guys, if you didn't like these crystal clear knobs, you can change them out for any style knob. Uh, you can do any kind of door pull or uh, even a hook if you prefer. I just wanted to keep it with what I had. And so I thought it would work perfect. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this down to the center of this wood piece from Dollar Tree. Now I'm just going to use some wood glue here as well as some um, hot glue just to make sure that I get it to set. And uh, we're just going to place it right dead center of this uh, rectangular piece. And immediately you can already tell we are going to have a super cute uh, start for our wall hanging decor. Now, what I'm doing next is I'm going to start creating different types of decor pieces and things to hang off of this. Uh, I got the idea of taking some wire mesh and I didn't, I could not find my garden wire, you guys. So I just went ahead and used that uh, twine wire that Dollar Tree has and just took the twine off of it. Uh, but what I'm doing is recreating uh, a heart, a couple different heart pieces here. And then I'm just going to take some of this old stretchy lace fabric that I've had in my scrap fabrics forever and a day uh, and just reuse it. So I'm going to just kind of cut out a piece. And as you can kind of see here, I'm just sort of eyeballing uh, how much I'm going to need. There's there's really no like rhyme or reason on how to do this. It's just a matter of getting the fabric to hold the shape that you're, you know, you've created, which in this case is the heart. Uh, so you can see here, I'm just kind of eyeballing it and trimming it up. And then all I'm going to do is basically glue and fold over the edges of the fabric. So that way it stays in the shape of the heart and it'll just give us this really super cute fabric lace heart that just, I don't know. I just think it's adorable.
so now I'm just going to take some more fabric and I'm kind of just playing around with it. I'm going to make a little um, little tie at the top there so that I have uh, an area to hang um, these hearts and it's just going to be able to, you know, to hang around that doorknob there. And then I'm just going to glue these hearts uh, onto the strips of this ribbon fabric that I have. And you guys have seen me use this so many times before. It is something that I've picked up from Amazon and it is available in my Amazon store. It is probably one of my favorite um, fabrics that I've picked up from Amazon uh, by far. But in any case, as you see here, all I'm doing is just gluing these hearts down. And this is just gonna make for one piece that we're going to use on this uh, wall hanging uh, decor piece. Uh, again, this is so much fun to do because you can just throw so many different things together and it is going to look so great when it's all said and done. Um, and these little projects are just fun to do uh, anyways. So. so the next piece that we're going to add to this, uh, I'm going to use one of these. I believe this is like what needlepoint or cross stitch or something. I think it's needlepoint. Uh, the frames, the little wooden uh, frames. Again, I know I'm not using the right terminology, but I don't do that. <laughs> So I really don't know what it's called. Uh, but I had these kits that I picked up from, I believe it was Target. Um, could have been Dollar Tree, maybe. I don't know if they ever had those. But um, in any case, we're going to take the outer rim, the one that has the, the screw on it to tighten it up. And I am just going to add layers of different ribbons and fabrics and strips of uh, material that I've had. Uh, lying around forever and again this is what is great about doing shabby chic is you can use all those old pieces of fabric and ribbons that you just kind of store because you didn't use it all before or whatever the case is and trust me y'all I have so much <laughs> so I am going to use it up and I'm going to basically you know as you see here just do the quick tie around the bottom and it's going to make the nice ribbon tail of our dream catcher and Dreamcatcher was really the thought behind this, you know, when I looked at this, um, uh, again, whatever this is called, <laughs> y'all, I'm so horrible at this, but I envisioned using it as a Dreamcatcher because I wanted to take uh, one of these old vintage doilies that I had uh, and using that for the centerpiece. Um, I, I used to, in the past, I used to make huge uh, dream catchers and I love doing them using the doilies. Uh, there's so many of these out there, especially legit vintage ones that are, you know, pretty old, you know, maybe even your grandparents still have them. Um, I just know that I had started collecting them for the longest time because I just fell in love with them and they make for perfect uh, dream catcher centerpieces if you don't feel like doing the whole, uh, you know, string design yourself and yeah, so that's what the thought process was with this. All right, and then once all of those are down and tied on there, we're gonna take it and put it over top the other piece. And the other piece has got the uh, doily on top of it. And we're just gonna make sure it looks pretty centered. We're gonna tighten it up and that's it. I mean, that was so simple for this one, you guys. I, like, I loved, love doing these. And I think I'm gonna make some more of these in the future. Um, and all I did was just put another piece of uh, fabric at the top so we have something to hang it off of. And we're moving right on into the next uh, project of, of something cool that we can hang on our shabby chic wall piece here. So I'm using that same wired twine again. And as you can see, I made another heart shape. And what we're gonna do is do the same kind of technique that we just did with the dream catcher and we're going to take some pieces of scrap fabric and just make the little loop ties at the bottom just to have some you know pretty little 
dangly things that are hanging off of this heart and you can add any kind of fabric that you like you can do ribbon uh, I love using old scrap fabric you know whether it's something that I've like tea stained myself or uh, old t-shirts old baby clothes uh, anything at all and I I really try to repurpose and reuse everything y'all so you know that's why I like you know going to the thrift stores going to you know especially yard sales and stuff and if you find a fabric even if it's not something that you're going to wear um you know and if it's older reuse it y'all like turn it into something you can craft with i mean there's no there's nothing wrong with that <laughs> absolutely nothing wrong with that so uh what i'm doing next with this heart is i'm taking some of this really pretty stretchy lace ribbon now this is something that i get from hobby lobby quite often uh, I love this dusty pink color that it comes in and it is available in their, um, I believe it's the his and hers line, their wedding stuff. So um, I definitely pick it up whenever they have a sale on it. And all I'm doing is I'm going to basically go around the heart with some hot glue and I'm going to stretch this fabric on there. It's going to have a couple of layers here because obviously it's not big enough to cover the entire heart, uh, but that's okay. It's going to add to the uniqueness of this really cute piece. And once it's all glued down, I'm just going to trim it up. So I'm just going around the outer edges of this and I am trimming it off. Very simple. And I just love how this looked. If I would have had like a super wide ribbon like this, I absolutely would have used it or some more fabric that looked like this. But I just wanted to do this layer technique. I thought it was still super cute, even with the three layers. And then again, we're just gonna add a piece of uh, material here so that way we can hang this later on to our awesome fun <laughs> shabby chic wall decor piece y'all i am horrible with coming up with titles of my projects i really am <laughs> okay so this is the next piece for our wall decor shabby chic whatever you want to call it y'all i am horrible at coming up with names for my my projects. I, I'm serious, you guys. It's it's pretty ridiculous. But in any case, I am taking just some more of this ribbon, this fabric ribbon here, and I'm just going to tie a knot at the bottom. And I'm going to make sure it's pretty big because we're going to thread it through the middle of this fairly large um, old doily that I've had. And I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go up, a, you know, a little bit more on the uh, fabric, probably another four inches or so tie another little knot and then we're going to do the same thing we're going to just thread it through the center of another doily and really this is again such a simple thing to do um and you can use these old vintage old doilies you can use the new ones whatever whatever y'all <laughs> it doesn't matter it just makes for a really quick way to add some um extra you know uniqueness and creativeness to your project so again I'm doing another one here as you can see I'm just kind of threading it straight through the center and uh, I think I actually had to make the hole a little bit bigger for this one so it would be nice and center uh, and then we're just going to take our, our fabric here we're going to tie a knot and we're going to thread it through now I use a different type of ribbon for this one just to add some you know differences there uh, but it is still again this is probably one of the easiest ways to just kind of I almost want to say like a filler for your your project you know just to add a little bit of oomph to it um, these are again super super easy to do at the very top you just make a little loop so you can have something to be able to hang this with uh, and I'm just gonna leave that extra strand of ribbon just hanging off of there now I am gonna go into the next portion which portion did I say that right 
portion portion oh, i've lived in texas too long y'all um i'm taking this uh trim that i've had i actually just found this in my stash uh and i think this was really all that i had left and of course it's just a white fringe but i wanted to make like tassels so as you saw there i'm just kind of gluing and rolling it up to make a tassel and then i'm going to take some of my bead ribbon that i use quite often and we are going to uh, glue that in the center and then we're going to do it to another tassel we're going to make a second tassel as well and we're going to glue the other end of that bead strand to that tassel so basically it's just a little hangy do thingy whatever <laughs> with two tassels on some beads super easy uh, and then going back to that really pretty pink fabric i'm just going to make some quick little finger bows here with that fabric and we're going to glue those bows on the top part of our tassels just so you know it kind of hides that weirdness of you know how it was made you don't have to do it if you don't want to you can make tassels anyway if you have yarn if you have other fabric that you would prefer to use definitely do you on this but this was how i just decided to uh, create those and hide that little area there at the top so literally this is it you guys this is all i really recorded for the little projects that we're going to put on this piece so you're going to see the final project you're going to see that there are quite a bit of other little details added to it um, i did add some little fabric wall pockets next to it with some flowers uh, i added some old projects to it from my old shabby chic paintbrush that's back there to just some fabric cards that i've created in the past but it kind of is like a catch-all uh, piece that I've of things that I've made before with the new things here. I mean, there's even a little banner back there. You can you know you can kind of see it. It's little vintage babies hanging there. I mean, so many fun things can be added to this, and I feel like it is a project that anybody can do, and you can just continuously add on to. So. I love this you guys this is staying in my room and if y'all like it I would love to hear your thoughts I would love to 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 hear what you think about this this is a little bit different than my normal videos but I absolutely love this and I was super excited to share it until next time you guys thank you so much for joining me I love y'all stay safe and then we'll talk to you soon bye bye